Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello! Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late for your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you can come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start her club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kinda told the club yesterday I'll be bringing in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake. Oh wait, <laughs> that's my voice. Okay. Yes, let's go! And as today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone! The new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member! Eh? Oh wait, I glanced around the room. I don't even know what voice to give her. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere! Aha! Then heck, what a nice surprise! Welcome to the club! All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls! What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it! I'm uh, so sorry. Nasuki? The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Nasuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first year student. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can't just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear and then turns back to the other girls. Anyways, this is Nasuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Oh well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already knew Monica, is that right? That's right! It's great to see you again, Den Heck. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other well. We rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me genuinely feels a little... <laughs> you too, Monica. Come sit down then, heck. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me and Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. 
Hey, I made them! I'll get them! Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few dusk around just for my tea. As Suri mentioned, it's been wider so there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room. Our new Natsuki grabs a wrapped toy, a wrapped tray, and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh! Whoa. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Mm. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one! Sayori grabs one, then Monica, and I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take the bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking, sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of favor, flavor. I wonder if she made it. This is really good. Thank you, Nasuki. Why? Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... I haven't I heard this song before. Made them for you or anything? Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said, well, maybe. But not for you. You know you, dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Osuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places the tea set in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Huh? That's that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least enjoy tea. I'm I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. <laughs> Monica, I'm surprised. How can we decide to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity of how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm filling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised that there are not more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brave and new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard if you miss people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right everyone? Yeah! 
we'll, we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone is too exact. <laughs> Agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they're so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still really don't know if they can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. 